Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to move an object using Python and the CS1 graphics library. Now, instead of doing something in the Python shell this time, which is a more realistic environment, it's more real time, I'm going to show you in an actual window and we will save this program and then we can run it multiple times instead of having to rewrite the code. But to draw our movables, or to draw our objects and to move them, we need to first import the CS1 graphics library and we need to import everything and then also need to import the time library and by doing this that will allow us to use the wait and the sleep functions but first we need to create our canvas and I'm going to name mine paper and I'm going to leave it at the default 200 by 200 now notice when we hit enter it doesn't actually create the canvas now this is because we're not running it in real time once we save the program that's when it will open now to create the circle I'm going to name it originally enough circle and I am going to set its radius to 20 now next I am going to move the circle and instead of the last time where we set it to a certain point like let's say circle point I'm going to do something different this time and actually move it by move it manually and by doing this I will do circle and I want it to move and I I don't want it to move any over but I want it to move 100 down which will put it in the middle of the screen all the way over to the left now this does not actually work as the animation this is just setting up the canvas before we actually do the animation okay and then we need to set the fill color so I want to set the fill color of my circle now you can pick just about any color you want you can do you know you can do yellow you can do black you can do anything well I'm gonna set mine to black okay and then we need to add our circle to the canvas well my canvas's name is paper and I want to add the circle okay now it now it has been added okay now to keep this program from just flying before we do the loop we're gonna actually put a wait in here after it draws everything it is going to wait for a click of the mouse before it starts the program this makes it very user friendly instead of just opening the program and it immediately running it'll wait for the user okay now to do our loop we need to set a variable x equals to zero and this will tell us how many times that we want this loop to run okay now we're gonna set up the actual loop now we want this to move ten times so we're gonna say while x is less than ten now make sure you put the colon that way you can set up your loop in the block okay now we want our circle to move. Now how much do we want it to move by? I'm going to have mine move by 20 to the right each time and down 0. And each time in between we want it to sleep in, or wait for a second in between each loop. Now you can set this to many different things but just so you see more of a constant movement I'm going to set mine to 0 0.1 which is one tenth of a second and to make sure this only counts up to 10 instead of going infinitely off the page we are going to do x equals x plus 1 that allows our variable to go up by 1 each time remember it starts from 0 that will allow it to move 10 times okay now we want to exit out of this loop by doing backspace and now that we're back on the all the way to the left now instead of just closing after it's moved 10 times we want to do another wait and what this will do is it will t it will tell us that it's going to wait until we click w the mouse again. And then once we close the mouse or once we click the mouse, we want it to close. So we do paper.close and then our open and close parentheses. And that should work. Now we go ahead and save. And I will just save it to my desktop so that we can run this and when it is ran it pops up like this and once we click it will move over by 10 and then once I and it waits before 
so it doesn't close and I click again and it closes and that would be how a move work move function works